in the quiet, studious environment of a university research department, the sound of soft conversations and the rustling of papers filled the air. At a spacious table in a well-lit corner, two researchers, Dr. Jane and Dr. Tom, engaged in a deep conversation about the vital topic of geography and earth sciences. The early afternoon sun filtered through the large windows, casting a bright light on their discussion about the ongoing challenges and opportunities in their field. Tom, geography and earth sciences are still significant areas of study. Despite advancements, there are still many hurdles to overcome. Have you noticed how these challenges manifest in our research? Absolutely, Jane. It's evident in various subtle ways. I've been reading about different strategies to advance our understanding, but there are so many complexities involved. In your view, what is the biggest challenge we face? I think it's multifaceted, but let's break it down. Question. Tom, in your opinion, what is the biggest challenge in advancing geography and earth sciences in our research? A. Lack of funding for large-scale field studies. B. Insufficient interdisciplinary collaboration. C. Difficulty in accessing remote and hazardous locations. Answer. A. Lack of funding for large-scale field studies. Tom, I believe the biggest challenge is the lack of funding for large-scale field studies. Option A. Without sufficient financial support, it's difficult to conduct the extensive fieldwork necessary to gather comprehensive data. Securing more funding is crucial for advancing our research. I agree, Jane. Increasing funding is essential. We need resources to carry out detailed field studies and gather the data required for our research. Exactly. It's about creating a system where we have the financial support needed to explore and understand complex geographic and earth science phenomena. As their conversation continued, Dr. Jane and Dr. Tom discussed various initiatives and funding opportunities that could help support large-scale field studies in their research. Jane, besides improving funding, I think another critical issue is the lack of interdisciplinary collaboration. Do you think our current approach to collaboration is adequate to support our needs? Question. Jane, do you think the current approach to interdisciplinary collaboration in our research is adequate, or do we need significant improvements? A. The approach is sufficient but needs better coordination. B. Significant improvements are needed to support effective collaboration. C. A complete overhaul of the collaboration strategy is required to ensure integration. Answer. B. Significant improvements are needed to support effective collaboration. Tom, I think we need significant improvements in our interdisciplinary collaboration. Option B. Many times, researchers work in silos and more coordinated efforts across disciplines would greatly enhance our understanding of complex systems. I completely agree, Jane. Encouraging more collaboration between different fields can lead to new insights and more comprehensive research outcomes. Right, and it's not just about having collaborative projects 
but also ensuring that communication and coordination are effective. They delved deeper into the topic, discussing the need for more robust interdisciplinary collaboration and the importance of fostering an environment that encourages communication and joint efforts across different scientific domains. Tom, another aspect we need to consider is the difficulty in accessing remote and hazardous locations for field studies. How do you think we can address the challenges of conducting research in such areas? Question. Tom, how do you think researchers can better manage the challenges of accessing remote and hazardous locations for field studies? A. Investing in advanced remote sensing technologies. B. Establishing partnerships with local organizations and governments. C. Developing specialized training programs for field researchers. Answer. A. Investing in advanced remote sensing technologies. Jane. I believe investing in advanced remote sensing technologies. Option A is crucial. These technologies can help us gather data from inaccessible locations and enhance the scope of our research without the physical risks. That's a great point, Tom. Remote sensing can provide valuable data and reduce the need for dangerous field expeditions. Exactly. And this also includes using drones, satellite imagery, and other innovative tools to expand our research capabilities. They explored various examples of successful initiatives from different research institutions around the world, highlighting the benefits of advanced technologies in conducting field studies and gathering data. Jane. With all these challenges, what do you think is the most important step we can take right now to improve geography and earth sciences in our research? I think the most important step is to start with enhancing our funding strategies. By securing more financial support, we can build a strong foundation for all other improvements including better collaboration and access to advanced technologies. I agree, Jane. Empowering our research with the right resources and support is crucial. Once we have adequate funding, it will be much easier to implement other solutions and advance our field. As they wrapped up their discussion, Dr. Jane and Dr. Tom felt more optimistic about the future of geography and earth sciences in their research and the potential for positive change through better funding, improved collaboration, and advanced technologies. As the research department buzz continued around them, Dr. Jane and Dr. Tom returned to their respective tasks feeling inspired by their conversation and hopeful about creating more impactful and comprehensive studies in geography and earth sciences. Here are five words and phrases related to the theme of geography and earth sciences. Field studies, research conducted in natural environments to gather data and observe phenomena. Interdisciplinary collaboration, joint efforts and communication between different scientific fields to enhance research outcomes. Remote sensing technologies, tools and techniques used to gather data from distant or inaccessible locations, such as satellites and drones. Funding strategies. Approaches to securing financial support for research projects. 
Geographic and Earth Science Phenomena Natural processes and features studied within the fields of geography and earth sciences.